All right, so we're doing the May, June um, 2021 paper, paper two, mathematics. All right, and we're gonna start by looking at question number one. All right, so question number one, um, A is asking us, um, says, using a calculator or otherwise, calculate the value, the exact value of, and we have, um, one and four over seven divided by two third minus one and five over seven. So we have two operations here. We have division and we have subtraction. Um, it's obvious that we need to do the division first. All right, so the first thing I would do is I would convert all mixed numbers to improper fraction. So um, seven, one, seven and four, that would be what, 11? over seven divided by two third minus um, seven one seven and five, that's 12 over seven. Next, um, I would what, do the, um, the division. So this is 11 over seven. How do we divide by a fraction? We write back the first fraction then we change the division sign to multiplication and invert the fraction we are dividing by. So we're gonna invert the two over three and write three over two minus 12 over seven. Um, when you multiply in fractions, what you do is that you cancel. Um, looking at this, I don't see anything can cancel. When nothing can cancel, you're gonna multiply numerator times numerator. So 11 times three is 33. Denominator times denominator, seven times two is 14 minus 12 over seven. If I'm adding or subtracting fractions and the denominators are different, I must find the LCM. The LCM of seven and 14 is 14. So 14 is the smallest number that both 14 and seven can go into without leaving a remainder. Now, um, 14 goes into 14 one time. One times 33 is 33 minus seven goes into 14 two times. Two times 12 is 24. And 33 minus 24 is nine. So my final answer is nine over 14. Moving on. This says when, um, when Megan started working, she was paid $85 each week. After a six months probationary period, her pay was increased by 20%. How much was she paid each week after the increase? Well, there are two ways you could do this. One way you could do it is you could, um, one way you could do it is you could find 20% of 85 and then add it. I think 20% of 85 would be 17. Then you would add the 17 to the 85 and you would get your final answer. But the way I would prefer is, um, I would prefer to just do it as one calculation. So it says, um, I'm using the fact that if something increases by 20%, it becomes 120% of the original value. So I'll say that again. If I increase something by 20%, it becomes 120% of the original value. So this is the P after increase. Would be equal to 120% of the original value, which is 85. Now, 120% is the same as saying 120 over 100, which is the same as saying 1.2 multiply by 85. So you know, simply put that in the calculator and press equal. And 
And when you do, your answer is going to be $102. All right, and this is what per week. All right, so after the incre increase, Megan will be paid $102 per week. It says um, in C, we're at C, and C says in 1965, the population of a country of country A was 2,714,000. Um, in 2015, the population was 3,663,900. In 2015, correct to three significant figure. So the population in 2015 was um, 3,663,900. Now we are asked to write this number to three significant figure. Now the first significant figure in a number is the first digit to the left that is not zero. So in this number, the first significant figure is three. Now, if I'm gonna write a number to three significant figure, I must look at the digit that is the fourth significant figure. In this case, this digit is the fourth significant figure. Now, if the digit I'm looking at is five or more, I would round up. Now, in this case, round up would mean I would add one to the six and then replace the zero, sorry, the nine, sorry, the three, and every digit after it with a zero. Now, if the digit I'm looking at is five or less, sorry, is less than five, I would round down. In this case, round down would mean replace the three with a zero and every digit after it with a zero. Since the digit I'm looking at is a three, which is less than five, I'm going to round down. So my answer is going to be 3,660,000, and this is to three significant figures. Please note, for a whole number, the trailing zeros are not significant. So for a whole number, the trailing zeros are not significant. B says, um, we must write the population in 1965 in standard form. In 1965, the population was 2,714,000. Um, in 2014, now, whenever you write a number in standard form, the decimal point must come immediately after the first significant figure. The first significant figure is two, so the decimal point must come after the two. So it's gonna be 2.714 times 10, raised to a power. The power is the same as the number of times the decimal point is moved from its original power to get, sorry, from its original position to get to the new position. Now at the top, the decimal point is here. If I move it, I'm gonna move it one, two, three, four, five, six times. The power must be six. So, Whenever you write a number in standard form, the decimal point must come immediately after the first significant figure. So it's gonna be, you're going to write that, then times 10 raised to a power, and the power is the same as the number of times the decimal point is moved from where it is now, where you want it to be when you're writing the number in standard form. Now, II says, determine the percentage increase in the population from 1965 to 2015. Now, first of all, percentage increase is equal to the increase over the original number multiply by 100%. Now, let us see what the increase was. The increase is increase 
in population would be what it is in 2015, which is 3,663,900. Minus what it is in two, it was in in 1965, which is two million seven hundred and fourteen thousand, and the increase would be the increase would be. Nine hundred and forty nine thousand. That would be the increase. So, therefore, the percentage increase would be the increase, which is nine four nine zero 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 over the original number, which is what it was in two thousand and fifteen. Multiply by a hundred cent. Two zero cancel two zero zero cancel zero. So you have ninety four thousand nine hundred divided by two thousand um, seven hundred and fourteen, and we get thirty five percent. So between between um, two thousand sorry nineteen sixty five and two thousand fifteen, there was a thirty five percent increase in the population. All right, last part of the question D, D says, <clears throat> now the ratio of teachers, sorry, the ratio of teacher to male student to female student. So this is teacher to male to female. That ratio is three to 17 to 18. If the total number of students, so the total number of students would be represented by what? Um, 17 plus 18 is 35. If the total number of students is um, 630, determine the number of teachers in the school. So here, the ratio of what teacher to the total number of students is three to 35. The ratio of teacher to the total number of students is three to 35. All right, so um, again, the ratio of teacher to the total number of students is three to 35. So there are a total now of 600 and what, 30 students. So the total number of teachers, I don't know, so I call it what X. So I'm putting teacher under teacher, total number of students under total number of students. The amount, I don't know, I call it X, then I would cross multiply. This is 35 times X is 35 X. And this is equal to three times six thirty. All right. Then lastly, I will divide both sides by thirty five. And when I do, you put that in your calculator three times um, six thirty divided by thirty five. And what I got is fifty four teachers. All right, so by way of a correction, this should be 94,000, sorry, 949,900. All right, so 900 here. All right, but I think the answer remains the same.